Welcome back to our Firestop video series where we're discussing Firestop submittals and how to put them to use. My name is Sharon and I'm with Halpert Life Safety Consulting. This is our seventh video in this series. Who thought that there'd be that much to say about Firestop submittals? <laughs> if you said no, then clearly you don't know me very well yet. Already we've talked about the differences between MC cables and flexible metal conduits. That would be a 3000 series cable and a 1000 series conduit even though they look pretty much the same once they're pulled and connected. Today we're going to add to this list, starting with this. You can see a conduit coming out of the wall, so would you say that it's a 1000 series detail? But hang on, there's a cable coming out of the conduit, so maybe it's a 3000 series detail. Which is it? Let's think about it for a moment. If we're looking at a 1000 series detail, it's not going to address how to deal with the end of the conduit. So. This installation requires a 3000 series detail for this application. You also have to make sure that the detail that you're using is going to allow the conduit to stub out of the wall whatever distance you see in your field condition. Next up, we have a section of strut penetrating a gypsum wall. It might be supporting ductwork or possibly a conduit rack, but it doesn't matter when we're looking at what fire stop detail we need. Some people might treat this like a 1000 series detail, but it's not a pipe, and in a fire scenario it's not going to behave like a pipe. The Unistrut lands in the miscellaneous mechanical, along with threaded rod, structural steel, and any other array of stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. So the 7000 series detail is what you need, just like in our next example. Here we have a washing machine hose box. It's what we call a membrane penetration meaning that it doesn't punch through both sides of the wall. But the building code requires that we protect membrane penetrations. Explaining this completely is going to take a whole nother series of sessions. In the past, some jurisdictions would allow you to just five-side it, which means take the box and wrap it in drywall. But more and more, building officials are not allowing this because they know that there's no way that it can pass ASTM E119 or ASTM E814 tests. Here's a list of other membrane penetrations to be on the lookout for. If any of these are mounted in a non-rated wall, then they're fine. But if they're mounted in a rated wall, then they require some sort of protection in order to be code compliant. There's an array of tested materials that can be used for such applications, so be sure that you have the paperwork to support whatever installation you're doing in the field. We can't really say that all membrane penetrations will require protection whenever they're located inside of a rated wall assembly because electrical outlets are the one exception. This is assuming that they conform with a handful of code requirements. If you need to know them, call me or you can just check out the code section. If you're working in the 2015 IBC, the section is 714.3.2. Needless to say, electrical boxes in rated walls are a whole different story. The UL nomenclature for this, well, we haven't really addressed it yet, but it's CLIV. These are long, boring documents to read, so it's no surprise that there are things that people commonly miss. That means there are things that are often not done right, but to explain the codes and the CLIV, yeah, right, you got it. That's going to take a whole new series in and of itself. Who knew there was so much to this fire stop stuff, huh? This last one is actually a plastic pipe wrapped in fiberglass insulation. How do I know it's a plastic pipe? Because I poked and prodded at it and it seemed a little bit different from the typical metal pipe. So I started asking questions and then finally I cut the insulation back and voila, there was the plastic pipe. So do we call this a 2000 series detail since it's a plastic pipe? Or do we want to call it a 5000 series detail since it's an insulated pipe? The reality is, it's confusing. So, when you go and look at UL details, you'll find them in both the 2000 and the 5000 series. It is our hope that this has left you with more answers than questions, but if that's not the case, please give us a call so we can help. As always, we want to say thank you for learning with us, and we hope that you can use this information to improve your project. Keep up the good work, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call.